Welcome to Perry Unlikely. Today we're going to talk about Bepro Network. This is actually a little gem that one of the subscribers has mentioned a few times. So as I started to look more and more into it, I do believe that this one has a lot of opportunity and is in a niche that is continually growing. Today I'll explain to you what Bepro Network is and what type of potential that I think it has. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Before you invest or do anything with your money, you should seek the help of a professional. So Bepro Network is essentially DeFi meets gaming meets esports. This space is a particularly big space and is ever growing, even in the sector not on the blockchain. So when you think about it and you take blockchain technology and DeFi and tie that all in with the world of casinos and betting, we might have something big on our plate right here. So what all does Bepro Network do? So there's staking, farming, gaming, NFTs, betting, prediction markets. So as I said, it really is an all-in-one. And what it does is it's an API for DeFi gaming, which allows you to build your own gaming platform and manage it through Bepro Network. So one thing particularly big about this is, I mean, Think about the space in itself. Gaming and esports is a massive industry. I was looking and I believe the statistic I saw was that the compound growth year over year is 38% and it's not going to stop anytime soon. So even if we weren't looking at it from the perspective of crypto, just think about how big the industry is growing anyway. So when you add crypto in there, good tokenomics, it's a recipe for a lot of great things to happen. A couple of features of Bepro Network, of course, as I mentioned, there's the gaming, but not only can you place bets and some of your standard types of gaming and esports, but also they even have gaming with live dealers. So there's also an interactive feel that I do believe will take off very quickly. The project launched in 2019, and that was February of 2019. And something that is going to make this great is not only from the standpoint of the people who are going to use it to play the gaming and the esports and participate in it, but from the side of the user who wants to create the platform, you don't have to know coding. So that's what's going to help to get this to adoption, if that is to happen, is the ease of use. So the native Bepro token has several uses. And one question is, people have asked, why do you need the Bepro token? There's five key reasons. One thing is the gas fees. So in the ecosystem, there's going to be gas fees. You're going to have to pay those gas fees in the native token. There is also a native token for security purposes. A third reason is oracles. You need the native token to be able to incentivize good data from oracles. And Bepro Network has partnered with BAN protocol. So we know pretty much behind Chainlink, we have BAN. is a very good oracle, which I also believe will continue to grow. So that's a great partnership right there. The fourth reason is the one I actually mentioned first, and it's independence. That goes back to the idea of not having to be held to just one blockchain, which is the importance of having its own native token. And for the fifth reason, it will give people a chance to decide the way that Bepro Network moves in the future. And this is also great and is awesome for decentralization. So these are all the reasons that it's important for the project to have its native token and the reason that it does have one. I want to add to that as well. Obviously with the native token, this helps to kick start the projects. Native tokens bring in liquidity and with that liquidity, it helps to kick start 
the projects and helps to be able to try different things and move the project forward into the future. Crypto and gaming um, are nothing new. We've seen several other platforms that are attempting to combine gaming and crypto. What I really like about this one is that it gives you the ability to build your own gaming platform. That's where I think this one differs from others. The current circulating supply is 1.8 billion out of a total supply of 10 billion tokens. The current market cap at the time of this recording is 11.8 million. So we're talking about a super low cap here. And the current rank out of all cryptocurrencies is number 676. Right now, the price is 0.0064 cent. So it sets under a penny currently. So look, I like the site. Um, it looks clean. I like that it's going to be easy for users. And I'm going to put a link to Bepro Network in the description so you can take a look at it yourself. I'll also put a link to a Medium article that talks about Bepro Network so you can read into it more. Another thing to add is that you can get the Bepro Network native token on Uniswap, but you can also get it on KuCoin. So the fact that it is on KuCoin is great. I'm sure you've seen some price activity in the recent weeks. Well, KuCoin definitely helps with that. And I do believe that the price action will continue to go up. One thing about this is there is going to be some downward pressure, obviously, as they distribute tokens. But it appears to me that this is a good project, and I do not believe that is going to stop it at all. So overall, I definitely like what I see in this project. I currently am not an investor, but I really am looking at taking a position in Bepro Network myself because what I see so far, I really like. And I know that the space of esports and gaming are going to continue to grow. So even if it had nothing to do with cryptocurrency, it's got a great use case, but when you take that and add it with cryptocurrency, DeFi, you're able to stake, opportunities to make profits, I do believe Bepro Network is going to be a hit. My approach on something like this would be, I usually take a decent position, continue to learn up on it, then if I like the way the roadmap's going and they're moving and hitting their goals, then I will take a larger position. That is just my strategy. Obviously, you should find the strategy that is best for you, but I really like this project. One more thing to add is their first client to launch eSports is TKN.com, including games like League of Legends, Counter-Strike, Rainbow Six, and others. So this is pretty big right here. The intent of this video was really just to give you my initial thoughts on Bepro Network. What I see so far I definitely like. I think this is a good project. I'm going to be continually looking to see what comes in the upcoming weeks. One of the best things I like is the fact it's on KuCoin. That does show that they're working to get on exchanges. This is only going to get better as they increase the amount of large exchanges that they're on. I believe that this is a project that you are going to want to keep on your radar and remember, we are talking about a market cap under 12 million. This thing is just getting started. And the fact that we are in a bull market means the money will be flowing. I hope that you learned something that you did not know about this project. Or maybe some of you are just learning about the project or hearing about it for the first time here on Perry Unlikely. Take a second, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate each and every subscriber. Hit the like button. Leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm, and I will see you next time.